Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. There are two things that we need to make sure that we do as soon as we get our Steam Deck. Two things that you must do. The very first one is that we want to make sure that our Steam Deck is up to date. The way that we can make sure that our Steam Deck is up to date is by hitting the Steam button and going down to Settings. Now, if you just bought it, you want to make sure that you do this because it is not up to date. Uh, so we're going to go down to System. We're going to go over check for updates. Now you may already have something that says install updates. That's fine. We want to make sure that those are kept up to date, getting the last last updates for the deck. Uh, if you want to, you can go down and actually participate in the beta updates. The way that you do that is you select this and then go to beta. If you like to live life dangerously. I also like to live dangerously. You can do that, hit restart, it'll take you there. If you don't want to do that, you can stay with the current version that's that's out for development, and that is the stable. So it comes default like this. So if you want to participate, you can. The second thing that we want to make sure that we do is we actually want to install uh, Proton GE. Now, this is a Linux-based system, and a lot of the games are Windows-based, so we want to make sure that we uh, install some patches that will help us to play these games. You'll see games that have the green check mark. That means that they are fully compatible with the Steam Deck, but you will have games that have the little icon there that's yellow. And some of those may have some glitches. So um, thanks to some good friends out there, uh, good Samaritans that are actually helping us out by putting out these patches, um, we can actually install those, those patches and run these games off Proton GE. So how do we do that? Well we need to enter desktop mode and we have to hold this uh, the power button. We're gonna get a menu and we can go down to switch to desktop. As it's doing that um, what we're actually going to be doing is installing this Proton GE and then installing some versions that that are out there and then we're gonna force compatibility for some of these games. So the way that we install it is we have to go to our software center and go up to the top to the search. We're gonna open up our keyboard, hold the Steam button, press X, and then we're gonna get our keyboard. So what we wanna actually look for is Proton Up. So Proton Up. It's going to come up to the top there. We're going to get rid of our keyboard. And this is exactly what we want. Proton Up QT. We're going to hit install. And when when this finishes, we're actually going to launch this and then we're going to start installing some of the versions of Proton GE. Now, they do have quite a few versions. Um, There's some that are are older that work just fine. Um, really what you want to do is make sure that you're installing the, the correct patch for whatever game that you're wanting to play. It is not recommended that you just use Proton GE for all your games to run because, like I said, the Steam Deck does have Proton already. It's just, it's not the Proton that's going to run all of these Windows-based games. So we want to make sure that we're just using the correct one. Uh, the way that you can do that is actually to to research and find out which patch runs best for which game you're looking for. So we clicked on Proton Up. We're gonna go over here to launch, and then it's gonna launch this Proton Up QT. We can go down here, and what we wanna do, you can see I'd have none installed right now. We're gonna to go to add version. Now, depending on when you watch this video, you are you may see different versions here. The latest one is 731. So we're gonna go ahead and install that and you'll see it pop up down here at the bottom when it starts to install. Whenever this finishes, it's gonna populate on our list. Now again, maybe maybe 731 isn't the best one for whichever game you're looking for, so maybe it's 728. You can go over here and install 728 also, and we'll show how to, how to pick which one to use for which game here in a moment. You just use the drop down, install that, and you're good to go, hit install. So for this, we already have 31 installed. Um, that's all we need to do. We can show the game list here, but we're really, that's not the best way to do it. So let's close out of this. Hit close, hit X. And then we're gonna return to game mode. 
Let's just taste just a second. Not too long. There we go, it's already loading now. So we're going back to game mode, and I'm going to show you how to run a game using Proton GE, the one that we just installed. Again, it doesn't have to be the default. Just make sure that you do your research and say, if there's, if there's something wonky going on with the game as you're playing it, say, hey, might as well go in there and, and find out which patch is best for this. So I'm just going to use the Old Republic here as an example. So what we need to do is hit the Options button here at the top right. So we'll hit Options and go down to Properties. All we're doing is, is we're going to go to Compatibility Mode and force the compatibility. So you can see it already is going to tell me, hey, the, the first one on the list, Proton GE 731. Now there's different versions, like I said, that you can choose from, but Proton GE is the one that we just installed. We want to force compatibility there. And then as soon as I run this game, it's going to use this Proton GE 731. Like I said, this may not be the best one for this game. Do your research, say, hey, there's something going on with this game. Which Proton GE should I use? You know, Google it and then install that version force compatibility on it and you're good to go all right that's all i got for you today two most important things you need to do check for updates install proton ge so you can start playing these games if there's anything else you want me to cover please leave it in the comments below thank you so much for watching see you next time peace